Hi friends, how are you? By blessings of God, you are doing well. So this is Dr. Arthamundu Jena, faculty member, PG Department of Business Management, Pokemon University, Vyasab Behar, Balasur, Odisha. Once again, I am welcoming to all of you, dear friends, to Dr. A.V. Jena classes. Friends, today we are going to discuss the very, very interesting lecture on the 20 basic or fundamental term or a concept of a tax. Our friends, so, uh, is discussion in lecture, we will discuss some uh, concept from the direct tax, some concept from the indirect tax, as well as, as, well as from the GST, I mean the goods and services tax. So kindly stay with me from beginning to till end, definitely you will know more and more. So as a discussion here, uh, so this will, uh, today's discussion will be very, very interesting to all of you, whether you are uh, studying uh, or pursuing your study, whether you are going to appear the net and JRF exemption, whether you are going to appear the lectureship exemption, or whether you are paying the tax or are going to pay the tax. So, subtly, so today's discussion will be very interesting. Hoga. Kindly stay with me from beginning to till end, particularly. So, this is uh, one subject in that is the UG and PG. Uh, student, student uh, that is the income tax, uh, there is one paper that is the indirect tax and the GST also. So this discussion will be both, both interesting and useful hoga. those who are pursuing uh, the course like the CA Foundation course uh, and uh, the ICWA Foundation course as well as so this discussion will be very very useful and fruitful to the economics students as well as the MFC students. So friends without delay we will start our interesting topic. So I am requesting to all of you during the discussion if any mismatch or gap will find kindly you give your available comment and suggestion in the comment section. So let's shuru ho jai aaj ka discussion. Our discussion is the 20 important that is the tax terms or um, fundamentals. So tax, so before us, so tax is that is uh, for us it's the that is the payments of the burden, financial burden, but whereas tax is the revenue or income to the government, any uh, any government, whether it means the state government or central government or the local government, uh, that's why. So tax, what is tax? So before that, formal definition. So what is the meaning of that is the tax or the taxation? That's the, the act of taxing authority. Who is the taxing authority? I mean the assessor, that is the government, whether it means the central government or state government uh, or the local government. All of us, we are paying the tax. Whether we are paying what is this? It means the direct tax or the indirect tax. So Leaving a financial obligation on its citizen or the residents. Okay, friends, IA formal definition ko. So, Britannica dictionary, uh, dictionary definition of tax. What is this? An amount of money that a government requires people to pay according to their income. As per our income, uh, as per our income, we will pay the tax. And so there is the tax bracket is there, friends you know every year, so there is the budget is prepared and presented by the concern that is the finance minister, I mean the government of India as well as the finance minister of a concern state government, the value of their property etc. and that is used to pay for the things done by the government. Again. हम थोड़ा सिंपलीफाई कर देंगे क्या है टैक्स सो टैक्स इज ए कंपलसरी कलेक्शन ऑफ मनी बाय द गवर्नमेंट फॉर द पब्लिक वेलफेयर सो गवर्नमेंट इज टेकिंग और चार्जिंग द टैक्स फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ पब्लिक वेलफेयर सो देयर देयर विल बी द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल डेवलपमेंट देयर विल बी द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ that is the higher education, so there will be the development of that is the standard of living and that is the health that is and other sector also. So, uh, and the tax is divided into how many parts, the direct tax and the indirect tax. Friends, I am hopeful that you have the basic idea tax. Come to the second one, we have already 
discuss that the tax is divided in two parts that is the direct tax and the indirect tax so direct tax kya hai a direct tax is a tax that a person or organization pays directly to the entity uh, that impose it or thoda simplify karenge to examples of income tax income tax we are paying so that is the structure is there uh, structure is there who will pay the income tax or who will not pay the income tax friends i am paying what is this income tax income tax uh, because i am uh, i am a public servant or i am an employee so wealth tax also give tax also the taxes on assets so these are the examples of a direct tax so these taxes are paid by an individual tax payer directly to the government so directly so i am paying the income tax directly to the government not indirectly so uh, the examples of direct taxes so these are the examples of direct tax kindly uh, आप देखिए नोट कीजिए देन कम टू जस्ट रिवर्स डायरेक्ट टैक्स एट सी दैट इज द इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स सो इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स इज चार्ज ऑन सर्विसेस एंड प्रोडक्ट्स और गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज प्रोवाइडेड बाय एच यू एफ हिंदू ऑन डिवाइडेड फैमिली बिजनेसेस एंड पेड एंड इंटरमीडिएट टू द गवर्नमेंट सो वी आर पेइंग द इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स इनडायरेक्टली इनडायरेक्टली टू द गवर्नमेंट लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल व्हेन वी आर we are taking our lunch or dinner in a five star hotel what is this so we are paying what is this the service taxes service tax it's the indirect tax then the owner of the hotel i mean the intermediary so they are paying the indirect to the government so these are the examples of uh, indirect tax sell tax is there uh, then the service tax is there custom duty and octroi duty is there excise duty is there then the value added tax i mean the vat now Uh, remaining something now the in the, the gst goods and services has replaced the indirect tax that is the goods and services tax it means that is one tax one nation so this is the uh, policy and also the government is getting the maximum that is the tax revenue by charging the indirect tax friends i am hopeful that aapko pata मिल गया है सो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्स व्हाट आर द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्स व्हाट आर द व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स एंड व्हाट आर द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ दैट इज द इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस वी आर पेइंग द देन कम टू द एसएससी व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एसएससी एसएससी मतलब फ्रेंड्स एक आदमी है ए पर्सन हु इज लायबल टू पे एनी टैक्स नोन एज एसएससी आई मीन द पर्सन विल पे व्हाट इज दिस बोथ द इनकम टैक्स आईटी और that is the or direct tax and indirect tax a person who is liable to pay any tax or any kind of tax i mean the direct tax and indirect tax known as assc but as for the uh, income tax act 1961 friends you have to remember in is uh, in the fill in the blanks or in a one or two sentences income tax act or fill in the blanks you will get assc as for the section 2 and subsection 7 of income tax act 1961 assc means a person by whom any tax or any other sum of money says interest or penalty is payable under this act under this act matlab friends what is this it's the 1961 examples of assc may be the individual you me and other your friends hindu undivided family partnership firm company then Uh, association of person aop body of individual and uh, then a local authority artificial judicial body etc so they are known as what is this to assess assess means a person liable for payment of taxes or any other sum of money to the government or to the entity under the income tax 1961 but as for the income tax act 1961 assess is are normally three types so normal assessi every person then representative assessi then deemed assessi ah uh, so these are the um, examples or these are the category of assessi or assessi in default friends so deemed assessi or an assessi in default next the previous year though there is so confusion amount what is the the 
previous year and the assessment year financial year like this so uh, here we will discuss and after discussion definitely you will have no idea aapko kaun sa bhi doubt nahi hoga previous year kya hai according to section 3 of income tax 1961 ah uh, previous year means the year immediately preceding the assessment year again हम सिंप्लीफाई करेंगे क्या इनकम एंड इंडिया ईयर इज टैक्सेबल इन नेक्स्ट ईयर अगेन हम सिंप्लीफाई करेंगे द ईयर इन हुई इनकम इज एंड इज नोन एज ए प्रीवियस ईयर द नेक्स्ट ईयर इन हुई इट इज टैक्सेबल नोन एज द असेसमेंट ईयर असेसमेंट ईयर एग्जाम्पल द प्रीवियस ईयर इज ऑल्सो नोन एज व्हाट इज द फाइनेंशियल ईयर और अकाउंटिंग ईयर और ये क्या है इनकम ईयर सो दूसरा नाम क्या है हम क्या बोलेंगे प्रीवियस ईयर को हम बोलेंगे फाइनेंशियल ईयर हम बोलेंगे अकाउंटिंग ईयर हम बोलेंगे व्हाट इज दिस दैट इज द इनकम ईयर आपका कौन सा भी डाउट हूँ नहीं होगा सो uh, एग्जांपल so हम देखेंगे इन दिस एग्जांपल इस एग्जांपल में इफ द असेसमेंट ईयर व्हाट इज दिस 2023 एंड 2024 थाउजेंड ईयर द प्रीवियस ईयर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स वुड बी व्हाट इज दिस टू एंड ट्वेंटी Friends, now you are clear. So that is the salary earn. Suppose you are earning salary between the period first April twenty twenty two and thirty first March twenty three. If the assessment year is what is this? It is the twenty twenty three twenty twenty four. Then the previous year will be just preceding of that is the preceding year that is the twenty two twenty three. whatever the earnings or income so this will be taken into consideration or i mean uh, you will pay the tax or we will pay the tax so here assessment year is 2023 24 and the previous year will be kya hoga 2022 23 or the previous year ko hum kya bolenge financial year bolenge hum bhi bol sakte hain kya accounting year hum bhi bolenge what kya na income year now friends you are clear come to its opposite that is the assessment year uh, assessment year as per the us us class s matlab under section 2 sub section 9 of income tax 1961 so assessment year means the period of 12 months always the previous year or assessment assessment year consist of kitna month hoga uh, 12 months so commencing from 1st april of every year and ending of 31st march टाइपिंग एरर सो एम कैपिटल होगा मार्च इन द नेक्स्ट ईयर सो ए पीरियड ऑफ ट्वेल्व मंथ फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अप्रिल टू थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च इज नोन एज ए असेसमेंट ईयर हाँ सो हियर वन एग्जाम्पल हम देखेंगे सपोज करेंट असेसमेंट ईयर इज दैट इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री कमेंसिंग फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अप्रिल ट्वेंटी टू एंड एंड इन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च ट्वेंटी थ्री सो हियर द असेसमेंट ईयर विल बी व्हाट इज दिस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर एंड इनकम अर्न द फाइनेंशियल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड सो दिस विल बी दैट इज द टैक्सेबल इन द असेसमेंट ईयर असेसमेंट ईयर दैट इज ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर सो फर्स्ट अप्रिल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू टू थर्टी फर्स्ट और मार्च थर्टी थर्टी वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विल बी टैक्सेबल सो दैट इज फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अप्रिल ट्वेंटी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च ट्वेंटी फोर फ्रेंड्स नाउ आर क्लियर सो नेक्स्ट सो पर्सन 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 मीन्स दैट इज द आरसी हुई वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस फॉर चार्जिंग इनकम टैक्स फॉर चार्जिंग इनकम टैक्स सो डेफिनेटली द गवर्नमेंट विल चार्ज द इनकम टैक्स ऑन द ऑफ आवर ऑन द अर्निंग्स द टर्म पर्सन हैज बीन डिफाइंड अंडर सेक्शन टू एंड सब सेक्शन थर्टी वन ऑफ इनकम टैक्स एंड नाइनटीन नॉट सिक्सटी वन इनक्लूड आई मीन हु आर द पर्सनस इंडिविजुअल्स हिंदू अनडिवाइडेड फैमिली एसोसिएशन ऑफ पर्सन बॉडी ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स फार्म एल पी पी सो इट्स फ्रेंड्स है सो लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी पार्टनरशिप फार्म देन कंपनीज लोकल अथरीटीज एंड एनी आर्टिफिशियल जुडिशियल पर्सन आई मीन ए जी पी सो दे आर नोन एज ट्रीटेड एज क्या है पर्सन सो नेक्स्ट वन हम देखेंगे द ग्रॉस टोटल इनकम ग्रॉस टोटल इनकम व्हाट इज दिस ग्रॉस टोटल इनकम ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल इज कैलकुलेटेड आफ्टर कंसीडरिंग द इनकम्स आर फ्रॉम ऑल द हेड्स सपोज यू आर गेटिंग सैलरी सपोज यू आर रिसीविंग एनी इनकम 
from house property suppose you are uh, getting or receiving the capital gains whether you are receiving the income from other sources so sum from all uh, from the sum of a total of which certain deduction may be allowed so then so it's the gross total income so deduction is allowed from section 80 c to 80 u as for the income tax act 1961 in separate video we will discuss what are the deductions so deductions uh, will be available to the um, individuals i mean the rcc to pay the the, the of the income total income will be calculated in order to pay the tax so next one friends so corporate tax corporate means friends so it's the company so corporate tax the income tax and 1961 levies the corporate tax on domestic as well as the foreign companies uh, so they are uh, carrying out so they are doing their businesses in india friends for your kind information i have already posted one video that is the joint company and the types of uh, companies kind to go through the posted video and you will know the different types of companies so here the government of india mandates the domestic companies to pay the corporate tax based on their universal incomes as per the income tax act so no doubt the indian companies must pay what is this that is the corporate tax whereas for the foreign companies are only taxes at only taxable on their income accrued uh, or received in india so during the particular period so these periods whatever the incomes of foreign companies will be taxes uh, taxable as per the income tax act so next one the it a uh, typing error here tax management what is this tax management deals with the compliance of tax laws or the legal formalities as laid down by the income tax act to avail the benefits of what is the deduction exemption rebate relief allowance concession etc so tax management i mean so tax management is compulsory to all rcs all rcs uh, come to the tax planning what is this tax planning so it is an arrangement of ones or individuals or rcs financial affairs in such a way that the burden of a tax payment the burden of tax of the rcs is reduced to minimum not violating the legal provision i mean the legal provision of tax laws uh, given by the income tax act so it's the meaning of tax planning so tax planning is made in order to what is to minimize the tax burden not violating the legal provision so tax planning it is optional to all rcs and you can take the help of that is the tax consultant or the financial advisor or the chartered accountant clear in order to how to avail or how to minimize the tax um, not violating the legal provisions or what are the deduction or exemption or rebate or relief or allowance or concession you will avail so the chartered accountant or the financial advisor or financial consultant will guide you you can take the help from them so next one it's the tax avoidance so from this picture so this guy is happy but uh, so this guy is not happy so tax avoidance what is this it is done or tax avoidance uh, done legally to reduce the tax liability not violating violating the tax rules through the planning with the help of uh, that is the chartered accountant and the tax consultant or the advisor so it has the legal sanction and allow so tax avoidance it say that is the legal and it can be allowed as per the income tax act as per the and in through the tax or through the help of a accountant or the tax consultant or uh, you can easily reduce the tax liability and and its opposite that is the tax evasion what is this so tax evasion it's a reverse it is done illegally and deliberately to reduce the tax liability so whatever your earnings you may not show you may not show or you will not take into consideration while calculating the total income so it's illegal the defaulters may get punishment as per the tax rules and it is illegal not punishable under the income tax laws friends now clear so tax avoidance is illegal 
uh, and allows to reduce the tax liability, but whereas tax evasion is illegal and not possible. So next one is that is the exemption is different from deduction. If an income is exempt from tax, it is not included the computation of income deduction is generally given from the income chargeable tax. So deduction are allowed under the section friends uh, from 80C to 80U. So deduction are available. So here suppose you will donate some amount to the Prime Minister Relief Fund or the Chief Minister Relief Fund similarly and you will also donate something to the charitable institution. So in this situation uh, you will get the deduction. Suppose you will take up what is this uh, sum that is uh, uh, given by the government of India that is there you will get the tax benefit similarly uh, that is the health insurance and other also the schemes. So its deductions are allowed under section uh, section from 80C to 80U. So next one is that is the capital gain. So capital gain reverse is that is the revenue gain. What is capital gain? So it is increase the value of capital assets. And when the capital gain is realized, uh, when the asset is sold, when the assets will be sold, so definitely the capital gain. So capital gains. Uh, in capital assets, so that is uh, the land, uh, it may be the building or it may be the, that is the investment. So capital gains apply to any type of assets including the investments and those forces for the personal use. So capital gain may be that is the short term, its time period is one year or less than one year and long term it is more than one year or the less than one year and must be claimed on income taxes. For friends, for your kind information, so I have posted that is the two MCQs on income tax and three MCQs on that is the indirect tax and GST kindly go through the posted video and you will know more and more what are the sections, what are the deduction, what are the rebate like this. So next, next one is that is the agricultural income, agricultural income. So it is the total revenue of an individual or entity earns from sources including the land farming, uh, commercial produces, uh, production from the horticulture land and building on identified uh, agricultural land. So uh, the Income Tax Act 1961 section uh, 2 and subsection 1 a defines the agricultural revenue of an individual or NTD. So it's the meaning of uh, that is the agricultural income. So next one is that is the surcharge. We are paying what is this? That is the surcharge. We are paying what is this? That is the surcharge. What is this? The additional charge levied. The government will charge the additional charge on higher income uh, earning individuals over and above the tax is known as what is this tax. So it is levied on the tax payable and not on the income generated. For example, if Loki has the income one crore hmm, in a that is the previous year, then the, in assessment year, the lucky will be uh, or lucky will be pay what is this, the tax is assumed that for example 5 lakhs and surcharge would be what is this 10 percent or no of 5 lakhs or it may be 10 percent I mean the 50,000. So 50,000 it is or 10 percent of 5,000 is what is this that is the surcharge friends. Uh, I am full, no, I am hopeful that uh, now you are clear about the surcharge. So next one is that is clubbing of income. So clubbing of income, so normally section 60 to section 64 will be applicable in the case of a clubbing, the clubbing of income. What is this? Inclusion. Include hoga. Uh, that is the include hoga, the income. Uh, inclusion the income of others in the assay, income of assets known as what is this? Clubbing of income. Uh, so from this image, uh, Aapko, um, more knowledge mil jayega. The clubbing of income on under the income tax, income of a minor child, uh, that is the asset transfer to HUF, Hindu undivided family, asset transfer to spouse. In this situation, whatever the income, so this will be included the income of a ACC. Now clear? Again, I am repeating clubbing of income. What is the meaning of inclusion? The income of others in the income of assets is known as a clubbing of income. So next one is that is the form 16. 
I think you might have heard about the form 16. What is this? It is, uh, it is the TDS certificate uh, issued by the employer when they deduct the TDS. TDS stands for that is tax deducted at a source. So tax deducted at a source. So when an employer, suppose you are an employee, so your employer will deduct the TDS on salaries. The Income Tax Act requires uh, that a certificate be issued by the employer where the details of a tax deducted and deposited are certified. Friends, I am pay also paying what is this, the TDS, my employer, my university, okay, deducting that is the uh, TDS. At last time, my university uh, will give me what is this, that is the certificate or no TDS. And it is that is the tax calculation TDS, that is the form 16. So I have collected uh, uh, from the internet what is TDS. So uh, not a tax, but a mode of tax collection. And it is similar to pay as you are. So this policy uh, scheme also known as the, that is the withholding tax in many other countries. So prevents the, what is this, the evasion, tax evasion, that is the illegally, uh, the in illegal practices or in malafide practices, so you will reduce the tax against the subsequent, that is the verification or the malpractice of the, or manipulation of the accounts. So maintains the better cash flow for the government through the TDS. So the government is collecting or the government collects or uh, gets the revenue through the TDS. So last but not the least, now uh, everywhere that is, that is the GST, it stands for what is this, goods and services tax. So GST, typing error here, okay, GST is an indirect tax levied on supply of goods and services. So GST, it was implemented or um, effective from 1st July 2017 or GST Act is that is 2017. So the GST rates are applicable in India on goods and services and friends, so it's the changeable from time to time and who is the chairman of a GST council, that is the finance minister of, a, uh, that is the government of India, is the chairman of a GST council and concerns of the state's finance minister, so they are the member. Right now, that is the 0%, 5%, 12%, 18% and 20%. Kindly go. Uh, uh, just you click in the uh, Google, you will know. So 5%, 12%, 18%, and 20%. What are the components of a GST in a India? What are the components? So these are the CGST. So it stands for what is this? Central Goods and Services Tax. Uh, it is what is this? CGST, what is this? It is the tax collected by the central government on uh, intrastate sales. SGST, what is this? state goods and services tax so it is the tax collected by the state government on an intrastate sales then utgst what is this union territory goods and services tax so it is the tax collected by the central government on an intra uh, state sales then igst what is this integrated that is the goods and services tax. it is the tax collected by the central government for the interstate sales. So, so it's that is the prime structure of a GST, that is the CGST, uh, Central Goods and Services Tax, it's the uh, state GST or UT Union Territory GST and integrated, that is the Goods and Services Tax. I have already posted, so these are friends, the, the 20 vital, I mean the basic fundamental, that is the terms and concept on tax, uh, that is the in, uh, direct tax, indirect tax, and that is the GST. Uh, friends, so I am hopeful that, so you have learned a lot, so during the discussion, if any mismatch or gap, you will find, kindly you give your valuable comment and suggestion in the comment section. So once again, so thanks a lot to all of you, so uh, jate jate, so I will request to all of you, if you have not subscribed my channel, kindly you subscribe it, kindly you share it, kindly you forward it. So thanks a million to all of you.